Hello to everyone. Dear students, in this lecture video, I am going to explain the procedure for the calculation of design seismic lateral force by using equivalent static method or by using IS 1893 Part 1 2016 code book. Let us solve an example problem on this. The plan and elevation of a three-story RCC school building is shown in the figure below. The building is located in seismic zone 5. The type of soil encountered is medium stiff and it is proposed to design the building with a special moment resisting frame. The intensity of dead load is 10 kN per meter square and the floors are to cater to an imposed load of 3 kN per meter square. Determine the seismic design loads on the structure by static analysis. So this is the plan. It's given the base dimensions are given uh, 8 meter by 8 meter and this is the elevation floor to floor height is 3.5 meters and this is the terrace floor so to calculate design lateral force by using IS 1893 so you can refer the page number 21 so is the IS 1893 2016 code book So in page number 21, so that the design base shear VB along any principal direction of the building shall, shall be determined by VB is equal to AH into W. So AH is the design horizontal acceleration coefficient, W is the seismic weight of the building. So for, for the calculation of AH, you have to refer page number 9. So this is the page number 9. And AH here it is Z by 2 into SA by G divided by R by I. So Z is a seismic zone factor, I is the importance factor, R is a response reduction factor, SA by G is a design acceleration coefficient can be calculated by considering soil type and time period. Now let us calculate the design parameters for the above problem. So in the problem it is given that the school building is located in seismic zone 5. For this zone factor can be calculated from table 3 page number 10. Table 3 page number 10. So this is the table 3. So here for zone 5 Z value is 0.36. Sometimes they will not mention which zone the building is located so they will mention only the city or the town where the building is located so in that case so you have to refer page number 36 so here for each town the z value is given and also the uh, town comes under which zone that also mentioned here so for example for Bangalore region the zone is zone 2 and Z value is 0.1 this table here refer if they have not mentioned the zone then importance factor you refer table number 8 page number 19 So this is the importance factor the type of the building it is given as school building for school buildings hospital buildings governance buildings some important type of buildings the i value will be 1.5 so that's why we have taken here i value as 1.5 then the next parameter is response reduction factor r refer table number 9 page number 20 So table 9 response reduction factor for building systems so the type of building in our question is given as 
RC building with special moment resisting frame. So hence, for this type of building, R value is 5. So R is taken as 5. Then the second step is to calculate seismic weight capital W. So here the total floor area is 8 meter into 8 meter. So that is 64 meter square. And so what is the live load we have to consider? For this you should refer table 10 page 20 page 20 table 10 so it, here it is given percentage of imposed load to be considered in calculation of seismic weight up to and including 3 km per meter square imposed load percentage of imposed load considered to be considered is 25 percent if it is more than 3 km per meter square it is 50 percent so in our case it is 3 kN so hence percentage of live to load to be considered is 25 percent so now total seismic weight on the floor is w is the summation of wi wi is the sum of load from all the floors which includes dead loads and appropriate percentage of live loads seismic weight contribution from one floor say for the first floor the total area is 64 meter square the dead load is 10 plus live load we have to consider only 25 percentage that is 0.25 into 3 so for one floor it is the value is 688 kilonewton then load from the roof for the roof we are not considering any live loads only we consider dead loads so it is the total area is 64 into 10 so 640 kN so there are two floors and a terrace floor hence it is 2 into 688 plus 640 so this is the total seismic weight of the structure 2016 kN so then calculation of time period for this you have to refer page number 21 page number 21 so here for different cases the formula for the time period is given so for the bare MRF building moment resistant frame buildings without any major infill this is a set of formulas so in our case all other buildings so TA value is 0 0.09 H divided by square root of T so here H is the height of the building D is the base dimension of the building so in our problem so total h is 10.5 meters that is 3.5 plus 3.5 plus 3.5 the base dimension is 8 meters so hence ta is equal to 0 0.09 into 10.5 divided by root 8 so it is 0.334 seconds since the building is symmetric in plan the fundamental natural period of vibration will be the same in both directions so next step is to calculate SA by G value so for SA by G value so you have to refer page number 9 okay so here uh, the set of formulas are there here SA by G value can be calculated based on type of soil and the time period. So in our case, type of soil is given as medium stiff soil. Type of soil is medium stiff soil and our time period is 0 0.334 seconds. So hence it lies between 0 to 0 0.55 seconds hence SA by G value is 2.5 SA by G value is 2.5 so that's why we took SA by G as 2.5 so now substituting all the design parameters the formula AH is equal to ZI by 2R into SA by G 
0.36 into 1.5 into 2.5 divided by 2 into 5 so AH value is 0.135 then design base shear VB is equal to AH into W 0.135 into 2016 so VB is equal to 272.16 kilo Newton so now for the lateral load distribution with the height so you can refer page number 21 and 23 so vertical distribution of base shear to different floor levels so this is the formula which is used to distribute the lateral force vertically so qa is equal to wi hi square divided by summation of wj hj square into vb so these parameters for each floor can be presented in a table format so here story level say 1 2 3 so wi is the seismic weight at each floor hi is the height so wi into hi square wi by hi square by summation of whi square and the lateral force that is VA. So VA is WI HI square divided by summation of WHI square multiplied by VB that is the base shear. So if we calculate in this format the total lateral force will be 272.16 and lateral force in third floor it is 170.37 in the second floor it is 81.38 and the first word is 20.41 kN. So this is how design lateral force can be calculated using IS 1893 part 1 2016 code book. Thank you.